Von Farah, as Teddy says, more polished, also more Polish, as you heard the chants already starting up here tonight. You're going to hear a lot of crowd reaction from the Aragon Ballroom, a familiar venue for those video gamers out there. If you play EA Sports Fight Night Round 3, this is one of the venues you can pick from the Aragon Ballroom, and it is packed tonight. Round number one between Finley and Von Farah. Not a common scene, Teddy, to see the dueling white trunks. Well, Finley's the one that has Finley written on his belt buckle. And he's also the black man. And he's also eight inches shorter. An enormous height differential here for this middleweight bout. Most of Finley's fights have been in Indiana. Easy to build records there. His favorite punch, left hooks, body well, Jack, and head. Guys, break out, break out. Stop, stop, stop. I think stop, this is a I'm pretty well-matched bout. And hopefully it turns out that way. We have Bonfara has the big, big edge amateur experience, Joe. 120 amateur fights for Bonfara and only 15 for Finley. That should carry Bonfara tonight. There's a left hook from Finley. You can see a big blotch of blood on the side of the neck of Fonfara. That may be from actually the nose of Finley. Try to get a look. You know, Fonfara has one of those thin chins that sometimes don't handle punches well. We'll find out if Finley can put one on that chin and test it a little bit. Contrasting body types here in our first fight on Friday Night Fights. A jab utilized well by Andrew. All but one fight for Fonfara. I've been in this state of Illinois. Finley caught off balance there for a moment. Finley should be trying to walk in and do damage when he gets in all night. Obviously, he's a shorter man. From far, should be using that jab all night and making it hard for Finley to come in. There's a look at that long range tool of Von Farah, and then he splits the guard with a right hand. Well, if you're tall like Von Farah, you have that huge wing advantage and height advantage. You want to use that jab as a table setter. And then every once in a while, you want to go have a little bit of a bite to eat with the right hand. That blood is coming from Finley, by the way. And it looks like it's on the top of the head, right at the hairline. And that started early here in round number one. So Finley and Fonfara to start us off on Friday Night Fights. More to come. There is 20-year-old Andrew Fonfara, Polish native, who moved here hey, a couple of years ago. He's won six straight. He's young. He's improving as the big height advantage in this matchup against okay. Derek Finley. Had a 39 to 18 connect advantage in round number one. 36 of those 39 were headshots. You know, I think it's really, really important for Finley to set a really fast pace, a hard pace early on. Why is that, Teddy? Well, because if he can do that, he can take advantage once the sixth round comes on, but it's got to be a fast pace get up to the sixth. There's that left hook and then a right hand followed it from Finley. By far the best connection he's had all night. And Fonfara comes back with a right uppercut, but here's Finley getting work done on the inside. And he gets back out to rage. Should have stayed there, right, Teddy? Well, obviously, Finley is thinking about setting that fast pace I talked about early on, because if he does that, then he gets Fonfara into a place where maybe later on he can make him really start to think about going the rounds that he's never been. Finley's been eight rounds one time. Fonfara has never been past six. So it'll be a cakewalk for Fonfara to go past six if it's a slow pace. But keep up this pace right now, the way Finley's doing it. And as we get into that sixth round, Fonfara is going to be worried about those late rounds. By the way, he went 
six rounds with Olympic gold medalist Andre Ward. Good action here in round number two. Double jab now from Fonfara. Finley goes to the body with a right hand. Finley tries a jab of his own. Fonfara comes back with a two punch combination. You know, Fonfara might be the taller man, but he's not the bigger man and not the stronger man. Fonfara turned pro Joe 145, welterweight for six fights. Then he moved up to junior middleweight for three, then middleweight. Finley has been a solid middleweight, even a little above it, his whole career. So the more solid guy physically, he might not be as tall. But it's oh, and there he is. The left hook scores the knockdown. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay? Come here, come on. Not here. much time left in round number two. Right hand. Another right hand. He goes down after the bell. And it is being counted. Fight is over. Waved off after the end of round two. Derek Finley made every moment count. Another tall man bites the dust. You talked about that neck very early on and whether or not he would be able to take headshots well. He didn't. Closing moments of round two. Derek Finley explodes on Andrew Fonfara, and Fonfara unable to survive it. You know, it's great to be tall if you know how to be tall. Fonfara does not know how to be tall. He could jab a little bit on the outside every once in a while, throw a right hand on the outside. But when Finley did his job as the shorter man and got into his punching distance and got in close, Fonfara did not know how to take away the ability of Finley to find him. But Power would stand straight up, nice and tall, and it was a great amount of target for Finley. You know, Joe, when you're tall, it's great on the outside, but we've seen it often and often on our show that when the shorter man gets in close and you're still standing tall, well, you might as well put a flag on to get caught up on top of the head. Take a look right here, the first knockdown. Finley gets in close, slips the punches, right hand, left hook, puts Fonfara down. The end of the fight, Finley slips, defense sets up offense, he slips the jab, comes with the left hook, the right hand. And that was the end of it right there. Unable to survive. Again. Right hand comes crashing in. Well, you see it right there. Finley knows how to slip the jab. Defense sets up offense. He slips. He gets in position for the left hook. And again, Fonfara, the taller man. Well, inside, he's standing tall. And now he's short. Let's look at the Just for Men hair color punch track recap. And the numbers through just two rounds. And you see the headshots. Both men throwing loads of headshots. Finley doing the damage with his 35, especially those closing six at the end of round number two. Good action while it lasted. Derek Finley, he said his first ESPN show, he realizes it's a big opportunity, and he wanted to take advantage. He did indeed. And to make it official, we sent it up to the ring to Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 59 seconds of round number... Celestino Ruiz calls a halt to the bout. Your winner by technical knockout, Derek Superman Finley.